by him made be a servant to wash the feet of the servant of my Lord. <laughs> and Abigail hastened and arose and rode upon an ass with five damsels of hers that went after her and she went after the messengers of David and became his wife. <laughs> David also took a hand I'm sorry, this is new uh Hinoam um, a uh, Hino um of Jezreel and they were also both of them his wife, right? So David would pick up two women at a time and start having sex with them, right? Right. They didn't have no real formal ceremony, I guess. But Saul had given Micah his daughter David's wife to Trying to figure out the name here. Phi T or Fall T, the son of I Sha Aish, which was of Gollum or Gavin or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, see, the point here is, uh, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. David got two wives for the price of one man's offense. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> now, ladies, if you're having problems, okay, don't let your man mm -hmm, be a problem. Mm -hmm find you a man who won't be a problem. <laughs> I don't just be me, right? But, um, you know, Lenora, Cat, and certain women, I don't know, might have a problem with an abusive man. Right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't judge. But, mm -hmm, he wants a baby or something. And, Maybe that's what was going on with me and Mary Bell. Mm -hmm. And Stephen was being abusive to her, mm -hmm. but not having sex with her. Because she knew he, she, was, he, she was having an affair with me, right? And again, he was controlling her with birth control pills or something, right? Probably do, probably do. And she kept telling him, we're not having sex. We're just getting to know each other. We're friends. But he knew we were. He knew we were. <laughs> but she wasn't having sex with him either anymore. anymore. But see, it was just confusion on my part what was really going on. <laughs> but I still trusted her, right? And let her come back whenever she wanted to come back. You see what I mean? But I kept telling her, you're, you're hiding, you're lying about something, right? right. You got to treat me right, too. Or I won't think you don't want to be with me and I won't have to let you go because you're not telling me what's really going on. You're kind of keeping it a secret. <laughs> like I wouldn't understand either, either. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what you mean. She didn't trust me enough to tell me what was going on with her and Stephen. I don't know. Well, they were probably married, too, and he wouldn't divorce her, I guess. I don't know exactly what happened, right? But it's kind of cloudy, right? I'm guessing, right? And like I said, I'm trying to forgive her and move on, and like I said, not hold a grudge, and right?
I didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And see, I let her go until she called me in again. Maybe she's wanting to come back and can't either because of Scott or whoever else, right? Like I said, right? You want to interfere with me and my ex-wife, girlfriend, slash baby mama. <laughs> and yet, maybe there's a reason for that too, Mary Bell. Maybe you're not the only one I'm supposed to be with during this time. I don't know. Maybe it's any abusive woman who has a problem with a man like that. Maybe I'm the one who can handle the situation for me and her. And Jesus will heal me. And uh, at least of the major attacks they're trying to do to me, right? And why is that? They're abusing their wives, right? Jesus don't like men who abuse their women. But what can he do about it? See, even, what's her name? The girl from Poltergeist? She was killed by her boyfriend because suddenly she was thrust into the limelight. Right, right Kanye? She needs love and baby. <laughs> Don't she? Sorry. Right. I got it. It's alright. I don't judge. <laughs> when your push comes to shove and you need a little love. <laughs> Let me put some luck into your love. Call me up. Don't be shy. I'm your guy. <laughs> She's Kim freaking Kardashian West. <laughs> and she passed the test, right? <laughs> Just playing. Have a good day.